Well, we have joining us now is uh, Mr. Dixon Ako, Commandant General, Nigeria Peace Corps. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. Just a quick question. Has your group been formalized as of yet? Well, for now, it's not Commandant General and it's never Commandant General. It has been National Commandant and for now it's still Peace Corps of Nigeria. The bill has been passed by the National Assembly. It's been uh, is awaiting transmission to Mr. President for assent. So it's still a bill as we speak? No, it has been passed. It's not yet an act? It's, yes, not yet until Mr. President has sent to it, then it becomes an act. So is the group then formal? For now it's formal because uh, the organization came into existence in 1998, registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission under the Companies and Allied Matters Act. Mm -hmm. uh, thereafter, accorded federal government recognition under the Federal Ministry of Youth Development as a non-governmental uniform organization. And uh, thereafter, the United Nations, based on our value-driven program and participation UN program across the world, accorded the organization a special consultative status with offices in the UN headquarters in New York, DEX office in Switzerland, and in Austria. Uh, just re uh, uh, last year, on the occasions of our uh, 17th year anniversary, 18th year anniversary, the African Union was there and they accorded the organization also a special consultative status. So it has been a legitimate organization over the years. Mm -hmm. What we just went to National Assembly to seek for is just to give statutory back into the organization because it's already a legal organization. Mm -hmm. So why have you been having quite a bit of issues with uh, the local security organizations here in Nigeria? Well, for if you go through memory lane, for every uniform organization that has been established apart from Nigeria police, they pass through similar situation. Civil defense corps situation was even worse than what we are passing through. The level of brutality they were meted on. And if you goggle after this program, trace the issue between police and the army in 1986. When army were deployed to border patrol, there was resistance by the police that led to the suspension or that, that, that a, a, a superintendent of police was sanctioned. Mm. So for you, this tra is tra tra Trace also what happened to NDLA. Trace what happened to road safety. So it wasn't new. What we are passing through now is akin to a man wanting to get married to a new wife. Certainly, the first wife will not be happy. That was just the issue. But if you look at even the bill, the content of the bill, the core mandate. Mm -hmm. This organization never solicited for a power to carry arm. It never solicited for power to investigate matter, arrest, investigate, detain, and prosecute. Mm -hmm. But the report going on, the allegation going on is that the whole concept of the bill is to duplicate functions of existing security bodies. So to tell the, us now. The, the core mandates mm -hmm. and the function that the B seek to give the, for the organization is to develop, empower, and provide gainful employment to the youth in order to facilitate peace, volunteerism, community services, neighborhood watch, nation building and for other related matters. So tell us now, I mean, looking at the myriad of security problems that Nigeria is currently facing, and I think you've already mentioned some of them, how do you think that the Nigeria Peace Corps can make a difference? Well, the issue is that the general just left here, and I appreciate to a very high esteem the effort of the armed forces vis-a-vis -vis the security agencies. In, but if you look at the situation now, the fight is on the top. At the grassroots level, where these people mobilize to go and co 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 commit crime, it is open. The concept of the neighborhood watch was to have our teaming unemployed youths giving distinct orientation. When we started the organization, the, the DSS, the police, they attend our camp based on invest invitation to deliver lecture and have the evidence. Based on the knowledge these youths, mostly whom are graduates, and they come from different communities, we are talking of unemployment situation, and the, if you trace the history of crime in this country and why we have high level of crime and notoriety among the youth today, it, they are deeply rooted to unemployment situation because no man born of a woman 
will want to go and be committing crime, being killed. Therefore, if you resolve the issue of unemployment, you have resolved substantially issue of crime in Nigeria. So from, from the Peace Corps perspective, through the concept of the neighborhood world, is that these youths, rather than them, are being allowed to migrate to the city. They should be trained, retained in their local communities to monitor movement of people. If there are strangers, alert the security agencies that have the power and have the way with that to conduct arrest. When you adopt that strategy, movements on daily basis and gathering that could constitute threat to national security will be reported to the SSS. This is just the concept. And one area of our cardinal focus is in educational institution, because rather than being a ground to, to prepare our youth for future leadership challenges, schools are turning to breeding ground for courtism. And institutions of learning today are becoming just mere coaching centers for you to pass exam. Now, most of the, most of the security agencies that go to educational institutions to monitor exam carrying weapons, in a decent society is not done such. Rather, you have Peace Corps organizations that are mainly youths planted in educational. So we are talking about we don't even have enough security personnel in the larger society. Mm -hmm. Therefore, so, I love Peace Corps that is a youth-based organization to be within the educational institutions. Mm. And if you look at, even during the pendency of the bill in the National Assembly, efforts were made by the two chambers to move Peace Corps to Federal Ministry of Interior, where you have the police, you have the civil defense corps, you have the immigration, you have the prison. I particularly, in my submission during the public hearing, both written and oral submission, I established the fact that doing so, moving this youth-based organization to any of these ministries may make this youth wanting to claim equality with some of these institutions.